Hello everybody, uh, Coldude14 here. Um, this is going to be a playthrough of Minecraft, and I've been wanting to do this for a while actually, and I got Camtasia, so I figured it would be a great opportunity to try this. So, um, I do have some mods installed. I have uh, Pokemobs, just was screwing around with that the one day. I have uh, too many items, more explosives, and that's about it. Um, so let's just call this let's play, uh, survival. Let's let's do that. So um, if you really don't know what Minecraft is about, I I assume about over half the population of the world by now knows what Minecraft is. It's basically a pixelated game where um, your job is to find resources such as wood and uh, coal to make a house and torches to protect from the nighttime because at night monsters will come out um, there's zombie skeletons spiders there's a creeper which explodes scariest crap ever um, but yeah uh, the torches they don't spawn in light so you have to have torches to keep them out uh, the main first objective is every first day of the game is uh, you have to find wood and torches so you don't get yourself murdered and also um, there's uh, a food bar of course an experience for killing monsters food bar basically if you don't eat food soon enough you will die of starvation um, but yeah so let's get started um, I don't really know how you guys because I, I can almost guarantee that a lot of people have seen many 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 playthroughs of Minecraft so I doubt anyone's gonna say oh this is new to me but you know if you guys like this series then um, just comment like um, in the future I'm gonna do a multiplayer playthrough with my friend So yeah, just gonna nervous wood here. Oh, let me check something. Difficulty normal video settings. Uh, far render distance. Let's try normal. Maybe then it won't be so laggy. Okay. So I don't know why this is lagging so much. I don't have the greatest computer in the world. Let's be honest. Just a regular HP. I, I work with what I have. So yeah, I'll probably get 16 logs and then move on, try and find coal. Make a shitty little house. <coughs> yeah, as I said, like, I started playing the game about two years ago. And I've been fascinated with it, and I've seen a lot of playthroughs, mostly of the likes of uh, Scene Enters. Scene Enters is probably the first I have ever seen, and his playthrough was just amazing. Then I saw like the custom map adventures that Captain Sparkles does, and sometimes even Scene Enters does. And I've, I kind of look up to them as Minecraft people, and I guess I'm kind of following in their footsteps. So that's good enough. the hell? Oh yeah, as a result of my uh, Pokemobs, random uh, towns spring up with like, shit. <laughs> but I'm just gonna like skip over them. There's really nothing important for me to get in there. I will be uh, using Pokemobs to the full effect eventually though. But yeah, well, there's an apple that'll be useful later for when I start starving to death. I mean, honestly, the food bar wasn't exactly uh, one of my most favorite things that was added in one of the <clears throat> updates, but, you know, it was put in, so I'm going to have to deal with it. That looks like a good place to get coal over there. So, yeah, like I said, right now I'm probably going to be looking for coal mostly. If not, then... I can just get some cobble and I know and you can make charcoal by putting a log in a furnace. And that'll work for coal for now. 
I might actually just do that. It seems a lot quicker than searching for five hours for cool. Oh, speak of the devil. Found the cool. Um, so basically, you can't just like go straight for cool. You have to have a pickaxe. And one of the ways to do that, make some wood planks out of the lo logs. And then you need to make a workbench. Workbench is wood planks from the logs is sorted into a 2x2 two two completely filled. I'll make you a workbench. Put your workbench down, right click to get into it. I'm going to have to make a pickaxe <clears throat> to harvest the coal. So, there that'll make sticks. Put two sticks like the handle of a pickaxe. And then this kind of looks like a pickaxe. So, there. That's your pickaxe. I got oil from the more explosives mod. I don't really know how you Oh, I guess you get it randomly for mining coal. That's not going to be too fun. When I'm mining coal and when I want coal, I get freaking oil. Yeah, I really have nothing that I can do with uh, coal. So that's not going to be one of the main focuses. Or more explosives, I mean. So more explosives really isn't going to be the main focus. There's a lot you can do with uh, Pokemobs, though. And that'll probably be one of the things I majorly focus on. I'm really close here, so I think I'll just make my base camp uh, right in here. Um, sides of mountains are great to make a base camp, because you have natural protection on everywhere but the front. I mean, stuff can spawn on top of you. That'll be a problem, but that's easily fixed. As opposed to having a house where um, no matter where you go, there's going to be stuff all around you. An island is even better protection, where you can just set up a house. You have the water protection. If it's a small island, then you can just put torches around your house and you have nothing spawning there. But whenever you have a giant area like this, there's a lot of room to cover. This looks like a good amount to dig in. Um, so basically, I'm just going to dig a little tiny place to put a uh, furnace and my workbench, and then I'll start making the torches. And eventually, I'll make the uh, inside look more appetizing and look less like a giant pile of crab or something that a two year old could draw. Either, either one would work. But I, uh, yeah, so I, 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 of course, won't just be doing uh, playthroughs of uh, just like survival mode like this. Like I said, there's uh, adventure maps and stuff that I, I plan on doing more with. I think uh, the the custom maps or or the adventure maps are something that have uh, really made this game kind of what it what it is. Before it was just oh, I'm gonna do. I'm going to just walk around and find stuff on Minecraft again, but with the adventure maps, uh, people can customize it. Uh, they can put in like a storyline and, you know, put in just generally cooler stuff than what the game has originally. And right there's a, a Caterpie from Pokemobs. Ooh, an apricot tree. I'll start it working a little bit on Pokemobs right now. Get a little bit of a jump on it. So basically, um, Pokemobs also spawns these uh, trees. And they have apricots that you can use a uh, pokeball, or yeah, that you can craft into pokeballs if you have a button. Uh, but yeah, let me grab these and get back to base camp. So um, that was uh, that's the end of episode one. This is where I'm starting. Uh, like, comment, leave 
yeah, leave a comment saying how you think, and uh, I guess that's it.